In this video, I am going to say how to get eigenvalue of a matrix using calculator FX991MS. So first of all, switch on the calculator. Then you should reset the calculator because sometimes some functions will be done. So you should reset the calculator. For resetting the calculator, press shift, then mod, then you can see 3. So 3 equal to equal to. Once more I will say shift mod 3 equal to equal to. So you reset the calculator. Now you need to store this matrix in this calculator. For that purpose, you need to press mod 3 times. 1, 2 and 3. Then you can see equation, matrix and vector. So first of all, you need to get matrix. So for that purpose, you need to press number 2. So I press number 2. Then you can see a small icon like mat. In the screen, you can see a small icon. I'm not sure you can see it clearly. So in the screen, you can see mat. That means matrix. And in calculator also, above number 4, you can see it is written as mat in yellow color. Above every digit, you can see something written in yellow color. So above number 4, it is written as mat. That means matrix. For storing matrix, press shift, then press number 4. Then you can see dimension edit matrix. So we need to put the dimension first. For that purpose, press number 4. 1. So they are asking the name of the matrix. Matrix A, B or C. We can store up to 3 matrix. So I am going to give the name as A. For that purpose I will press number 1. Now they are asking the order of the matrix. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. That means M equal to 3. So I press 3. Then I press equal to. Then N. N is the number of column. That is also 3. I press equal to. Now they are asking the first element. This is the general representation of a 3 by 3 matrix. So this is the first row and first element A11. So here first element is 1. So I press number 1 then I press equal to then A12 that is the second element. Here it is minus 3. Minus 3 I press equal to then A13. A13 is the third element. Here it is 3. So I press 3 then I press equal to then 21. Second row first element 21. 21 here it is 0. Then 22 it is the second element that is minus 5. Then 2, 3. Second row, third element. That is 6. Then mat A31. That is third row, first element. So here it is 0. And I press equal to 3, 2. That is minus 3. And I press equal to 3, 3. That is 4. So now I store the value of the matrix. Now you can check whether the values are correct or not by pressing this arrow keys. You can see the elements coming here. Okay press the AC button. Now we store the value of matrix in calculator. If you are following this manually, how we will start? We will start by writing the characteristic equation. That is A minus lambda I determinant of that equal to 0. So uh, there is a shortcut for that for getting a characteristic equation that is lambda cube minus lambda square plus lambda minus determinant of a equal to 0. Alternate minus and plus sign will come. Minus, plus, minus. And lambda cube, lambda square, lambda. And the coefficient of that is, coefficient of lambda square is trace of a. What do you mean by trace of a? The sum of diagonal element of our matrix. 1 minus 5, 4. 1 minus 5 plus 4. What do we will get? 1 minus 5, it is minus 4. Minus 4 plus 4, it is 0. So here it will be 0. And here it is the sum of M11 plus M22 plus M33 like that. For that we can replace it by trace of adjoint matrix A. This is trace of matrix A. This is trace of adjoint matrix A. Instead of finding these things we can write trace of adjoint matrix A. So what is adjoint? We know A inverse equal to adjoint of A by determinant of A. So for getting adjoint of A, we should cross multiply this. That is adjoint of A equal to A inverse into determinant of A. We can find these values from our calculator. So I will show you how to get A inverse and determinant of A from this calculator. So we already stored the value of matrix in calculator. Now we need to, first of all, we can find determinant of A. So it is common here. So how can we find determinant? Press shift, then press number 4. And you can see dimension edit matrix and you can see an arrow here a small arrow so for, then press this arrow 
you can see determinant that is number one so plus number one then determinant now we need to write determinant of what that is here it is matrix a so we need to get matrix a here for that press shift then press number four then dimension edit matrix we get we need the value of matrix for that press number three then our a matrix so press number one so here we get determinant of matrix a then we, if we press equal to we will get the determinant as minus two so we will get the determinant as minus two so minus of minus two it will be plus two so we get determinant equal to minus two okay now we need to get the value of a inverse how can we get a inverse press ac button in calculator press ac button in calculator then press shift then press matrix that is number four then dimension edit matrix so we need the matrix so i press number three then we need matrix a so i press number one now we get matrix a what we need we need to find the inverse for that purpose you can see under the mod button there is x inverse button press that button you can see an inverse icon come here now we will get the matrix a inverse what we need to we need to multiply the with determinant of a so we know determinant of a equal to minus 2 so multiply it with minus 2 then if you press equal to we will get the first element that is a11 that is minus 2 minus 2 then the second element you can press this arrow if we press this arrow we can get the right elements if you press this arrow we will get the bottom elements so minus 2 this is the first element then second element it is 3 third element it is minus 3 then if you press down 2 3 that is second row third element that is minus 6 then 4 then it is 0 now 3 1 that means third row first element third row first element it is 0 third row second element it is 3 third row third element it is minus 5 so we need trace of adjoint matrix trace means the sum of diagonal elements that is minus 2 plus 4 then minus 5 minus 2 plus 4 it is uh, 2 2 minus 5 it will be minus 3 so here it will be minus 3 so we get the characteristic equation now we get the characteristic equation like this now we need to solve and get the values of lambda this is third degree so there will be three values for lambda for that purpose you need to reset the calculator first because we store the value of matrix here so press ac then press shift mod 3 equal to equal to for resetting the calculator now we need to solve this equation for that purpose press mod button three times one two and three then you can see equation so press number one then they are asking unknown uh, we don't want any unknown values this is a quadratic third degree so degree so for getting degree press this arrow then degree so this is a third degree so i press number three then they are asking the coefficient of a your coefficient of a is one then b it is the coefficient of b is zero that is the coefficient of lambda square it is zero so i press number zero and i press equal to the coefficient of c it is minus three minus three then the coefficient of d it is two so i'll get the value of lambda as minus two then i will get one then again one because this is a cube third degree so that the second element will be repeating two times so i will get three lambda values that is minus two one and one now to check whether our answer is correct or not get the sum of this eigenvalues what will be the sum of this eigenvalue it will be minus two plus one plus one that will be minus two plus one it is minus one plus one it will be zero the sum of eigenvalue and the sum of our matrix a will be same what is our sum of matrix a that is one minus four plus four 1 minus 4 it is minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 it will be 0 the sum of eigenvalues and the sum of our matrix or the trace of a will be same if these are if this is same then our answer is correct again there is one another method for checking that is the product of eigenvalue what is the product of eigenvalue minus 2 into 1 into 1 that will be minus 2 the product of eigenvalue and the determinant we got the determinant as minus 2 so the product of eigenvalue and determinant will be also equal to same so sum of eigenvalue and trace of our matrix a will be same and also product of eigenvalue and product of determinant or the determinant will be same 
If those two conditions are satisfied, then our answer eigenvalue will be correct. So during exam, you can cross check whether your answer is correct or not by using your calculator. 